This bombshell beauty right here can ride like a wind. She got one more to go. In the Hi guys, welcome to Barrel Racer Life. My name is Maddie Stoltman. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. Christmas is my absolute favorite time of year. Uh, we kind of have started our own little traditions with our little family being Cody and I and our animals. Uh, so we had a wonderful Christmas, got to spend the evening with some family friends and have an amazing Christmas dinner. I am all for the big dinners as well. I like my food. <laughs> so I hope that you had a great family time, whether uh, for Christmas, whether it was virtual or in person. I know it's a weird year for all of us. I'm missing my family like crazy. Um, however, of course, right now with all the COVID stuff, there's no crossing the Canadian border. Um, I could technically cross because some people said to me, well, you can go because you're still a Canadian citizen. And yes, I can technically cross into Canada. Canada anytime I want. However, there's a 14 day mandatory quarantine and I'd have to quarantine away from my family. So it kind of makes it a little bit difficult. But anyways, that aside, I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. I know ours was a lot of fun. I'll show you a little bit about our Christmas here. And then of course, got to go do some barrel racing. Um, I've been taking hot sauce a lot and him and I are having a ton of fun. It's been really awesome to get to enter him now. I feel like you wait so long for these babies to grow up. So it's been really cool to get to run him. He's the first baby I've ever raised and trained all on my own. Of course, with some help from amazing mentors that have kind of helped me along the way so I'm very grateful for that uh, but we're getting there so I'll show you guys about things here this past Spoiled Miss River got our Christmas present yeah I just took his blanket off he's trying to paw at it Passport, do you want to go for a ride? I just go take a nap, maybe come back later. Yeah, that's helpful. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah, gross. It's Jada, everybody's wondering how you're doing. Are you the prettiest girl? Yeah. You the best girl in the whole world. Well, I've been asked a million times on Jada and I know you guys love her almost as much as I do. She's my girl. Um, Jada has been off for way too long. Uh, the last run I made on Jada was Labor Day of 2019. So it's been over a year. Um, we started originally with a suspensory injury. It wasn't torn, but it was enlarged is what the vet said. So we treated it as, it, you know, we did everything possible for it. Um, I did a Tilden drip, um, PRP, shockwave multiple times, um, and then gave her time off and then started to rehab her slowly, um, starting with hand walking, which if you guys know anything about Jada, hand walking her was next to impossible. Um, she basically dragged me around. Um, and then I started light riding, started trotting, added more time as you know things went on and um, monitored it very slowly. Uh, however, she just wasn't quite 100%, this time on a different leg. So assess that. I won't go into tons of detail, but just some things she kind of need, needed maintenance wise. Um, did some x-rays, found some things that were going on dealt with that and now it looks like her other suspensory is enlarged on the opposite hind leg. <laughs> so originally it was the left hind, now it's the right hind. Um, I asked my vet, I said, how does this even happen? She's so well cared for, she has really good nutrition. Um, I don't push her harder than she's in shape for. Um, it's just frustrating, like what's going on with my horse? And he said, sometimes they just have weak suspensories. Um, it could be any number of reasons, um, but the beauty of it is, is that we have the technology available to do the best things for her to get her healed up. So we have done PRP on that leg as well, which is platelet rich plasma. They actually inject plasma into the injured area. Um, and it is a really, really cool technology. I've had it done in my knee and I know it's really successful. So we did that. Um, we also did a shockwave or numerous shockwave treatments 
treatments. Um, and then I will do another shockwave and PRP as well. Um, she is really strong on the leg that we did all of this on before. Um, so now we're just gonna strengthen the other leg. Um, it is extremely frustrating. I really want my horse back. Um, my vet is very, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He's very excited about getting her fixed up. And he had said to me, I will get this horse sound if it's the last thing that I do. So he is bound and determined that we're going to get her feeling good. Um, so that's the update on Jada. Originally, I had hoped um, when she first got injured to be able to go to Texas and run at some winter rodeos this coming winter. However, of course, with COVID and everything, things are all up in the air anyways. A lot of the big rodeos have been canceled. So um, it's sort of timing wise i mean it's never a good time for a horse to have an injury but if she has to be hurt now is not the worst time in the world because we're not really missing out on any of the big events anyway so that's what's going on with jada um i will be legging her up again in hopes that everything is sound and healed um by at the end of january so we'll start that so um I was on her back and riding her not long ago, but she just wasn't right. So we went back to the vet and this is what we discovered. So um, thankfully she's in really good hands with an amazing vet. And I think she's really confused as to why she's not doing anything. So uh, that's the latest on Jada. I'm sad to report it's gonna be a little while, but the prognosis is good. So um, send her some good vibes and um, she will be back in business as soon as she can be. I can't wait to run her again. Um, but again, it's just not worth rushing. So it's one of those things. I mean, what do you do? Backing tape. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I love Christmas bones. Thanks to so nummy. And how's your greenie? Doing pretty good over there. Okay, go on. All right, so when I circled hot sauce and then turned to go up to the first barrel, he kind of didn't take off, but he definitely went up there a lot faster than we've been going. And I sort of went with him and thought, okay, well, let's just see how this goes. He was not ready to go that fast. <laughs> I think by the time we got to the first barrel, he realized that. Um, he wasn't bad by any means. We went a stride or so by the first barrel, so definitely showed in our time. He was still a 20. Um, the run I had before that, he was a 20.7. This one, he was a 20.0. Uh, so I was like, okay, okay, we're still getting faster. Um, he was rolling pretty quick. So I came home, um, kind of backed him off a little bit and kind of practice, you know, controlling ourselves to the first barrel because we're just not quite ready to go that fast. Um, and then I did move him up to a different bit as well. I've been riding him in just a short shank little dog bone mouthpiece. It's the first bit that I moved him out of a snaffle into and I've just kept him in that. Um, but now that we're kind of starting to run, I think he's ready for a little bit more of a bit. So I, it's actually a very similar bit just with a little bit of a longer shank on it. So um, we went back and redeemed ourselves and tried again. Uh, luckily, the Duns Arena is really close to here. It's less than half an hour drive away and they have barrel races like three or four days a week. So um, we ran there on Saturday and I time only River. I didn't get any videos of my time onlys, but her and I are just kind of working some things out. Um, and then I took hot sauce back there a few days later. Oh boy.
He'll be right back. cracked into the 19s. We're moving up in the world. So he ran in 19.6. I was so excited. Um, it was a much more controlled feeling run than the uh, time before. So that was good. Um, and he's getting a little faster every time. So I'm having a ton of fun with him. I did take River and Time Only again. I didn't take any videos of my Time Only. Uh, but I went out and tried it a few times. And then I actually loped, um, well, kind of high loped. She likes to go fast uh, through the barrels. And it was really nice. I'm just kind of working on getting her to uh, come back to me because she's a really big, strong, horse. Um, so Claude is bigger than her, but she's just got this want to kind of pull into the bit and <laughs> pull me along with her, it feels like a lot of the time. So I'm working on just getting things a little bit more controlled. Um, I did pre-enter her in some of the big races uh, coming up in January. So I'm going to take her to a couple then. Um, but in the meantime, we're just going to kind of back things off and have her wait for me um, and just keep, you know, some clean runs in the time only is going. So this year is, this year, this week is going to be the start of a new year, uh, 2021, um, hopefully a little bit less wild than 2020. Um, I am actually starting something on January 1st with my friend Allie, who you guys have probably seen in my videos before. Allie is back in my hometown in Kelowna. Her and I are going to do something called 75 Hard. 75 Hard is this like kind of intense, a little bit crazy uh, challenge type thing. So what it involves, um, there's a few aspects to it. I'm actually going to put a link in the um, description of this video for the podcast and you need to go and listen to that because it kind of explains the intensity behind it and why it's so crazy and intense. Um, it's more of a mental challenge than physical, uh, although there is physical aspects. So there's two workouts. So there's six things involved in this challenge. Um, two workouts. One has to be outside for 45 minutes. The other one can be something else. It can be indoors for 45 minutes. Uh, so two workouts a day. Um, you need to drink a gallon of water every day, which is going to be hard for me. I drink a ton of water anyway, uh, but not quite that much. So that's going to be a challenge. Um, you need to follow a diet of some kind. So you get to pick whatever it is you want to follow. Um, I don't really have a goal to lose weight. I actually want to put on a bit more muscle. So um, I'm not going to follow anything super strict, but what I am going to do is remove sweet. So I'm not going to have any sweets and no alcohol, which is, again, not a super tough thing for me. I'm not really a big drinker. Um, so no alcohol and no sweets, which is the hardest thing because I love cake. <laughs> so um, that's the next thing. And then what else do you need to do? You need to take a progress picture every single day. Um, and then you need to read at least 10 pages of a self-help, personal development, some kind of a nonfiction book. So those are the six parts of this challenge. And you do it for 75 days straight. If you miss any of those aspects on one day, you have to restart. So it's pretty intense. And I really don't want to have to start over. So Ali and I are going to do it together. Um, if any of you guys want to do it too, join us. Um, it's going to be super intense. Uh, it's going to be a big challenge. Uh, and they encourage, the guy encourages you, you'll, if you listen to the podcast, explains it because my first thought was, oh, I could alter this a little. I could alter that a little. And he explains why there's no substitutions. Do it this way. Do it for 75 days straight and you'll be amazed at your results, not just physically, but how proud you'll be of yourself mentally for being able to sustain such a difficult challenge for that long. So that's what Allie and I are doing this coming week. I'm excited, a little scared at the same time. Uh, I, do you guys have New Year's resolutions or anything? I'm really curious. So share those with me in the comments if you like. Uh, but if you want to do 75 hard with us, we're starting on January 1st. I'm going to need some moral support. So feel free to cheer me on. Um, I'll also document it a little bit on my Instagram because I know it's a pretty intense thing. And maybe that'll offer some encouragement to you guys as well. But anyway, so 75 hard starting this week. Um, and then, of course, there's a lot of barrel racing coming up this weekend. So I'm going to take Claude to a couple different things uh, probably take hot sauce as well and then uh, river I would like to enter before the big barrel races which start I believe it's the 8th and 9th 10th of January is when I've entered her in already uh, so I'll probably take her somewhere before that to get a good run in um, and just kind of see how, or how our progress is coming along but anyways you guys I really appreciate you watching I hope you are enjoying my videos and if you are please subscribe to my channel